Hello and welcome to this unit. I'm Dr. Shayanti Talwar and in this unit we are going to look at Georg Lukács concept of realism. So let us first look at Georg Lukács background. Lukács was a I was a Hungarian and he was born in Austria, Hungary in the year 1855 and died in the year 1928. He was a Marxist philosopher, an aesthetician, a literary historian and a critic. So he was in that sense a versatile literary genius. He was one of the foremost founders of western Marxism. So when Marxism came to the west, uh, Lukács in fact worked on it further and he developed uh, some of its foundational theories further and he came up with an interpretive tradition that departed or that parted ways from the marxist ideological orthodoxy of the soviet union lukach uh, developed the theory of reification and he further worked on karl marx's theory of class consciousness and he expanded it further lukach is ex especially influential due to his theoretical developments of realism which we are going to look at now and uh, his focus on the novel as a literary genre right so lukach published this essay of his which was entitled realism in the balance in the year 1938 and in this essay he defends traditional realism of authors especially the likes of thomas mann in the face of rising modernist movements like expressionism surrealism and naturalism so um, the modern age so a revolution in the literary space and there were many writers who started writing who started employing the stream of consciousness technique in their novels but lukach felt that somewhere uh, these kinds of techniques they are a departure from real society and real life and since the novel as a genre itself is supposed to be a reflection of society it is a product of the industrial revolution and it is supposed to be read by the middle class he was not too happy with these avant-garde movements because he thought that they made a literature very complex and very ambiguous so he felt that though movements are a historical necessity these new artistic movements which mod the modern period saw a rise of uh, according to lukach these movements lacked that revolutionary potential because they were so ensnared in that artistic space that uh, they they were they intellectualized uh, problems and therefore uh, they uh, they intellectualized problems and social issues and therefore they could not really strike that chord with the masses Uh, so um, he felt that these literary movements whether it was the expressionist movement or whether it was the theater of the absurd or surrealism or any of the, or the stream of consciousness technique in the novels they all portray individual life as disconnected at a time in which capitalism because they were all living in capital in the capitalist system at a time when capitalism in fact ensures that people's lives are actually more intertwined than ever so he felt that these approaches were not viable and they were not sustainable 